It's in the air. I feel so smart and debonair. And I must warn this lady fairly well. Look out and have the care. It's in the air. The Odeon was built for and operated by Oscar Deutsch's Odeon Theatres Limited Chain. It opened on the 25th of February 1939 with the famous George Formby, It's in the Air. It was the largest cinema on Teesside. In November 2001, the former Odeon reopened as a 1000 capacity Jumpin' Jacks nightclub with the subdivisions removed. The Odeon collapsed in on itself before it was due for demolition giving itself up to the property developer's pocket. I was up on the top floor up there in Vancouver House, right at the very top, and um, seen something, heard a bit of a, a clatter over at the back there, and it was obviously a small piece of debris falling on the ground. Uh, when I started paying attention, I seen the whole side of, of the scaffold, it looked like it was all coming down in slow motion. And, uh, and then it all just came down with a clatter and there was a few cars parked just uh, opposite there and a lot of the debris fell on top of the cars and all the car alarms going off and everything uh, and then within a few minutes really all the, all the, like the uh, fire engines and police were here and everything caught the road off but yeah it looked pretty bad at the time yeah there's a few people actually worried because uh, there were some people that were just coming past in their cars and it missed them by about six, six feet uh, and they were like situated on the third floor, so yeah, there was quite a lot of worry in the office because obviously we thought that our colleagues had been injured. Is there anybody near us? No. Well, can anybody hear us? No. Or I've got something important. On the 12th of July 2006, the once great Odeon Cinema building in Middlesbrough was finally laid to rest. It was due for demolition to make way for a 375 foot high tower block. <laughs> well, well, I am a little lonely. You've said it. Or I've not been feeling myself all day It's in the air This funny feeling everywhere How many more buildings must go this way before the local council realises our local history and heritage is fading away? It's in the 